So this is a question where an alpha particle is given an initial velocity and fired at a gold nucleus, which is held stationary. So this question gives the closest distance that the alpha particle gets to the gold nucleus, and it's asking to calculate the initial velocity that the alpha particle was shot at. So when the alpha particle starts off, it has kinetic energy of 1 half mv squared, but it doesn't have any potential energy, and that's because it's assumed to be far away from the gold nucleus. Since this distance is assumed to be very large, the potential energy can be assumed to be zero. And then as it approaches the nucleus, it's going to convert the kinetic energy it started with into electric potential energy. As the alpha particle gets closer and is deflected by the gold nucleus, it'll slow down. At its closest approach, it's going to have zero velocity and therefore zero kinetic energy. But since it's a positive charge near a positively charged nucleus, it will have final potential energy. Now for applying conservation of energy, there's no energy loss here. So I can write ui plus ki equals uf plus kf. And in this case, it has only kinetic energy when it's first fired. And then when it gets close, it has no kinetic energy, but it does have potential energy. The alpha particle has a charge of plus 2e, which is the elementary charge. And the gold nucleus has 79 protons, so it has a charge of 79e. So the initial kinetic energy is 1 half mv squared for the alpha particle. And that's going to be equal to k, charge of the alpha particle, charge of the gold nucleus. They're both positive, so there's positive potential energy over r. Now to solve for velocity, it's a matter of algebra and plugging in numbers. And I get a final velocity of 3.6 times 10 to the 7th meters per second.